Maybe it's a cliche, but uh, uh, it is very true that Asia consumers are among the most dynamic and uh, uh, actually diverse uh, around the world. There is not one Asia. There are multiple uh, um, differences across the region. We have rapidly aging populations and we have very young populations. So in terms of the growth of the food and uh, beverage industry, it's, um, it's actually very buoyed. They need different types of food products, uh, they need types, different types of nutrients, they need different types of, of um, delivery mechanisms for those food products, whether it's liquid or it's solid. Another trend is the uh, uh, conscious consumption. Conscious consumption is about uh, uh, consumers desiring uh, food as contributing to their health, uh, eliminating some uh, components that are perceived as unhealthy, or fortifying their foods with things that are seen as healthy. We see them basically going to products which are nutritional fortified. We see a higher intake of protein-specific uh, products. And we also see, you know, kind of that these health conscious lifestyles are really what consumers want, not just for themselves, but for their children. So children nutrition plays a very important role. But we also see a stronger demand for products for the aging population, you know, that have certain nutritional challenges that come with aging. It's also about the health and well-being of the planet, sometimes the social impact that food can have in the environment around us and in the community around us. We find that more and more consumers in Asia like to um, uh, increase their spend actually to have food as an experience. They're busy, they're working, um, they want food that's convenient, uh, they want it on the go, but they also want it that it is nutritionally healthy. So there is an increasing consumption of food away from home. Uh, think about food service, think about food delivery. Um, so we want that food to actually bring us the same experiences and qualities uh, as food that we would prepare ourselves. I think today, you know, we're coming out of years of very strong consumer inflation as a result of price inflation. And that's something which we have to really make sure as a food industry and we're very, very you know, kind of focused on not having people left behind, you know, and making sure that everyone has access to really good nutrition. And that's a large work, which also means not just innovating, but working also on the affordability of the products we offer. Most food companies are trying to foresee the trends that are happening in the market and get ahead of them. Um, but in our, in our view, the most important is that the food industry needs to think local. So either at a country level um, or even a state within the country and where those consumer trends are going. But at the end of the day, whether it's convenience on the go or it's functional benefits, great taste, authentic taste trumps everything. And that is the most important for the consumer to repurchase and buy the product again. I think FIA as an association is really important for the food industry to come together, share some of the trends encourage some of the trends, but also sometimes address topics, you know, with key stakeholders to help us really create the right conditions to be successful as a food industry.